there are actually three interrelated concepts with which I'm working. The concepts are uh, a bare life, which comes from Agamben, but is not just Agamben, bare life, when life is exposed. La vita nuda, he calls it, which is actually based on a Pirandello uh, work. Related concept is pure violence, not a violence that has legitimacy, but a violence that is exposed. Max Weber had an idea of violence, as he called politics, uh, legitimate violence. But I'm taking the legitimacy out of it because today I don't think politic, uh, violence has legitimacy. Related to it is the idea of total state. Three concepts, how our lives have become naked, and the best example, the condition of uh, a life that is naked is in the airport when we cross borders and we are reduced to our digitized humanities. The picture that is on my passport shouldn't correspond to my face. My face has to correspond to the picture. And even that picture is digitized into some surveillance state that monitors me as I cross borders. The second space is the space of camp, refugee camps. Say, for example, Camp Zaatari in Jordan. When you have uh, masses of hundreds of thousands of Syrian and other refugees uh, there. My concern is to see to what degree institutions of civic life, okay, uh, such as law, such as voluntary associations, have been dissolved through what in Nazi Germany they call Gleichschaltung, coordination, into the state apparatus. And as a result, between the atomized individuality, atomized person, digitized person, and the state, there is no intervening institution. There is no voluntary association. There is no way for the atomized, digitized person to be protected against the whim of the, of the state. In this condition, we're no longer east, west, north, south makes no difference. That is, if you uh, begin from North Africa, go through the Arab and Islamic world, come to Turkey, come to Europe, go to United States, my conception is that there is a atomized, digitized surveillance state that constantly watches you. And your humanity, the totality of the person that you are, dissolves into those digitized humanities with which you are surveilled. And usually it is in the form of the data we carry with our passports. That is no longer a passport is a representation of me as a person, but I am a representation of my passport. It's complete reversal of uh, that concept. And based on that, that is the movement of nations, of people, let's say, take Tahrir Square, but you can multiply it to any other square, uh, was an uprising for, begins to change in view of this surveillance state that tries to turn it around.